Hey everybody, fresh off that terrible greed mode loss. Um, I have some time, so I think if we have some time, we do still need to do Lilith Darkroom. Why don't we try the lost hard mode? Let's mix it up, get out of greed mode. Prepare yourselves, by the way, because this is a run archetype where I'm going to be holding R a lot. Uh, I shouldn't have done it there, and I definitely should have gone into our item room first. We will die here. Um, but... I'm going to be holding R a lot to try to generate a great run as the Lost. And I think you need to do this if you're going to have the best chance possible to beat Hush, Mega Satan. We do still need to do the Dark Room itself as well. So if you don't like this, I'm telling you right away so you can tune out, basically. Hmm, that actually seems like an awesome choice for us early on the Lost Radioactive Poison, which is why I'm not going to our, uh, our, uh, Curse Room right now. Because I think that this might... Oh, really wish I'd known that that was telepills in advance. I think that this might allow us to get carried until our boss uh, fight on the second floor where we'll get a deal with the devil if it goes well. Um, but yeah, this is this is kind of excellent. If you don't like the hold R's, because this is probably going to be the hold R style challenge, um, you can tune out right now. And that's not me saying, well, if you don't like it, then you know, it's tough. No, it's me, it's me respecting your time. This could be, in all likelihood, it's probably going to be 45 fruitless minutes of me not really accomplishing much, but hopefully having some fun in the meantime. Um, I hope that we do accomplish something, but it is the lesser of the out possible outcomes. Um, we don't need to do boss rush. Might be okay. We can get to do boss rush, but we don't need to do boss rush. Uh, let's go fight. We don't need to go into our shop. Like, we have nothing to gain from our shop right now, so let's just go fight our boss. My thinking is that you kind of, um, you know in Apollo 13, they got a slingshot around the moon? That is exactly what we're going to try to do as the Lost. Um, we're going to try to get good enough items that allow us to get far enough into the game to get good enough items to be able to reroll, or sorry, to get a quantity of items that allows us to potentially reroll into a, an assortment of items that are awesome. Basically, get items that are good enough to let us live long enough to get a lot of items, a lot of tickets in that Holy Mantle lottery, um, and then try to reroll into a Holy Mantle or a Nod Leaf or something along those lines. And, and win with that, which is why I'm not going to be spamming the D4 once we have something that's half-decent. I'm going to be using this half-decent, see, <laughs> as, as an engine to generate more items to eventually mass reroll all of our items into a run that should be winnable. Or maybe not should be, but the idea is that it will be win winnable. Um, well, this, this, this room's the, the worst, man. Um, we're going to put bombs down. These bombs create creep because of Bob's bladder, I guess. This will allow us to go into this room, where we're hoping it's clean, which it's not. We can sleep in the bed and get nothing out of it, but I was hoping it was clean so obviously we could um, get a black market possibly out of it. But without being able to get a black market out of it, we're done with this room. But that's okay, I'm glad that they at least, uh, at least gave us a chance there, right? And man, mass poisoning is just really lifting my spirits on this run right now. Not that I'm in a bad mood, I'm actually in a great mood today, but uh, I'm stoked that we have an item that allows us to make other enemies so much easier to kill, which is really a big deal as the loss, you know? This is bigger than a damage upgrade, without a doubt. And honestly, Fate's Reward is pretty good as well. Good enough to carry us for a little while until we, you know, eventually wish to to reroll uh, this item into something that's better. You know, it's like eating, eating an orange before juicing it. Now, admittedly, that metaphor makes no sense whatsoever because... Uh, you know, if you eat an orange, there's not going to be any juice left to be made. But uh, you just bear with me on that one. Oh, there's there's a metaphor in there somewhere that makes sense. I don't have it right now, like not in front of me. No, but one day. What are you, the cops or something? Um, see what we got here. Widow shouldn't be bad. I've been wrong before. Uh, that bomb was pretty clutch. This is what you live for on lost runs: is getting to this deal with the devil. Luck up is fine. This deal with the devil gives us black powder and also that's incubus or succubus. Why are you so strong? Black powder is not that meaningful for us. Incubus is extremely meaningful for us. It's basically like another us. And then we'll head down to the next floor. Don't take this as me saying that we're in the clear right now because we're definitely not. But we have a great run if our only goal is to live long enough to get enough items to reroll into something incredible. Of course, we could also just pick up Holy Mantle in an item room. And if we picked up Holy Mantle in an item room, I'd be stoked. If we picked up, uh... Picked up Nine Lives, I'd be stoked. If we picked up, uh, Nod Leaf, 
guess how I'd feel? You got it. But uh, for now, this is a strategy that gives us kind of like double the odds, which is why I'm excited to see half decent items. And normally as the Lost, you'd be like, oh, Mysterious Liquid, it's just okay. But really, I'm like, Mysterious Liquid, it's okay. <laughs> it's good enough for us to use it until we deem it appropriate to reroll our whole run. And when will we deem it appropriate to reroll our whole run? When we get to a point in the game where it looks like we won't be able to succeed. Um, on, on our own. I don't even want to say on our own merits, but like on, on the merits of the items that we have up to that point. So, it's not an issue right now. Like, this, this run should be relatively easy for us as it is, as it stands right now. Please be a secret room. That is, which allows us to get into our curse room. Free curse rooms uh, have the opportunity to do a lot for us. Or the possibility to really ruin our lives. They could also ruin our lives. So let's restart. That's all right. You expect that to happen on a lost room. On a lost run, I should say. That's not very good. In this one, we get a Demon Judgment, which means we have lost. <laughs> but maybe he'll pay out with the Telepills? Like this spider will pay out with the Telepills? Nope, that's a key. All right, keep holding R. That was all right, it was a great start to our last run. I had a good time, decent deal with the Devil to start with. No Brimstone Mom's Knife, but it, you know, good enough to, to have a chance with. Come on, just put an item room right next to me. It's like the, it's the cost of doing business. I feel like intensifying tears are really bad. I'm gonna re- Oh, you know what? Why don't we just do that? Okay, it became Glitch Baby, which is not good enough. Not good enough. Pentagram is good enough, but there's no way for us to take it and live. So we'll take it, re-roll, and maybe then that gives us a chance. If it turns into nine lives, it turns into the quarter. That's okay. Again, this is a, it's a lot of large numbers thing. Might take us a little while to put down a decent run here, but this is why I was... Oh, I should have stuck with that one in case we got black market, but this is why I think that it's important to have time, because it can take a while to actually complete a successful... Uh, successful lost run against the Hush, anyway. Man, Doctor's Remote. This is just hot-ass trash. We will reroll this whole run. Not with the D4, but with the... Uh, the R key. Come on. Come on. It does, I've already proved, it doesn't have to be Holy Mantle, it doesn't have to be Nine Lives, just something good enough to keep. And Pyromaniac is good enough to keep. Although, I'm more interested in, in something better. So here's what I'm thinking. Even though Pyromaniac's good, come in here. And, uh, we'll pick up whatever's in our curse room. And then we'll try to re-roll everything. No, don't let the spiders fall on you. Don't let the spiders fall down on me. Throw this down. No item. Reroll. God's flesh. Not telepills. So we're done. We're dead. That was a cool uh, effect on that pill, though. Pyro, again, great, actually, but not great enough to... Maybe I should have stuck with it. <laughs> then all we need is, like, Epic Fetus, and we've got a pretty good chance at winning, but... It's okay. There's gonna be mistakes here. That's just life, man. Come on. You put an item room next to me. Is it... It's not that much skin off my scrub. There should be, like, a lost... <sighs> Unfortunately, we can't, like, do shit with this, but it is a guppy item. We can't, like, reroll it into anything else. There should just be a lost mode, where if you check the tick box, it's like you always start next to an item room and a curse room. And obviously, that would completely, like, undermine the purpose of the... the character. But that's okay. I'm gonna have to close this door. I didn't realize Kate was actually streaming right now. Needed to get some cool air in here. It's freaking 38 degrees. It's not 38. It's 31 degrees Celsius in here. So I don't feel comfortable leaving this run until we have, um, or leaving this video until we have at least one half decent lost run put down. And I don't count the first one we saw there as half decent. As much as I would love the opportunity to consider that successful. Well, I mean, what do we even... We got, uh, sweet. We got Wheel of Fortune and The Fool. The Fool allows us to escape for free, but if we're escaping for free, might as well just restart. This is great. Glitter Bombs are okay. Fruitcake is actually dangerous, but it gives us a double reroll chance to start. We get Death's Touch Attack Fly. This is like the definition of an acceptable start. It's a much above average um, item. 
plus the survivability inherent with the ability to fly and the spectral tiers and the etc etc so uh plus it's also an xl floor which is super ideal for us because it means that we get that early 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 deal with the devil we may have to do less rooms in order to make that deal with the devil happen let me just close my door here so i can get real serious about this you can also see the seed there as well good stuff okay so what do we need now um obviously uh holy mantle or something would be awesome not leaf but um the big thing is going to be at least for now high damage if we can just pick up some high damage item Items, I should say. Brimstone, Mom's Knife, you're very familiar with them. Pact, Mark. Nine Lives is something that would be a, a huge pickup. But anything that gives us the ability to not have to worry so much about our HP. So I'm going to stay way back from this Joker right here. Because I know uh, Ragman, I tend to get hit not by his spiders or anything like that, but by his um, homing shots. So I'm really thankful we have piercing shots so we can take care of his uh, crowd control and also hit him at the same time. We get a range upgrade, which just put it on the pile to be rerolled later. Blighted Ovum is a little dangerous because the Brimstone attack happens so fast. We're also, like, apparently slower than Blighted Ovum. But we put ourselves in a good position. We're only slower when he chases, so... We're okay. We got range plus luck. Luck is good. Range, probably a little unnecessary at this point. Not Krampus. Not Krampus. We got a Guppy item and Incubus. Incubus, as we've established, not bad at all. Now comes the pivotal moment. Do you take the D4 or do you take the Guppy item? That's a great question. I think you're going to think I'm crazy for this. We take the D4, not because we want to reroll what we have, but because we need to reroll what we have. I almost feel like it's a prerequisite to have Holy Mantle or Nod Leaf to beat Hush. I don't even think Nine Lives will do it. Yes, Triple Shot is good enough. This is a great pickup. So you might be wondering, well, why the fuck are you happy about getting good items now then? If you want to just D4 them later. Because we have to live long enough to be able to reroll them. We want to reroll 50 items at once, one time and one time only. I think. This is my theory. And remember, this is not just, you know, coming off the top of my head. I did beat Hush with Lost on uh, on Kate's run. Kate's save file is sorted for Hush Lost. She's still got to do greed mode. She's in her own boat for that one. I don't know. Like, as we've established, I'm not the master of greed mode at all. Uh, nor am I the master of normal mode for that, or hard mode for that matter. But, um, you know, I, I think I have a strategy that works. It's extremely narrow. I would love to expand my horizons. Um, and I would hate to reroll what is a very high damage run right now. But one day, we're going to come down to like the depths, or even the blue womb, and we're going to say, this is good, but it's not good enough. Or we're going to get Holy Mantle in advance of that, and that's when our reroll has to happen. And ideally, we would do it on a room full of batteries, so that if we don't like our first reroll, we can just, you know, say fuck it and do it again multiple times. Um, but I, I really, truly, sincerely believe that. And if you're out there and you've beaten... Hush with Lost, and you've done it in a way that I did not, more power to you. I don't think that your strategy is wrong at all. I'm just saying this is what I, I'm going to tailor our run towards right now, because I know that it works. But I'm, again, I'm eager to, to learn more in the future. This is a room that's potentially very dangerous for us, which is why I'm keeping my fly away f Oh my lord, we live. Keeping my fly away from these enemies so it doesn't accidentally hit them. This would be a great opportunity to get a deal with the devil. It's the husk. Easy boss fight. Easy money. We have finished it. We've gotten little Stevie. Let's head down to the next floor. Half decent items are okay, because one day they're going to be reruled. Is the idea, at least. Man, I hate that we have Curse of the Blind right here. Um, but... We have, we have a way to hedge our bets. If we pick up an item that's truly cataclysmic, and I think you know what I'm talking about when I say that. Soy milk, for example. Um, then we we have a, a bet hedger with our, uh, with our D4. Puberty, not bad. Amnesia, annoying. I thought we'd already seen an amnesia pill. Maybe I'm mistaken, though. Item room is mom's bra. We've transformed into mom. This is actually something you're going to be like, huh? Is that, why is he excited about this? Because this is a 
possibly relevant piece of the puzzle. Now that we have this knife sticking out of us, if we, had not, if we have Nod Leaf, we can stand still and still have an easy way to do damage to enemies. So, as much as Mom's bra was completely worthless for us there, it transformed us into Mom, it gave us a knife, and uh, we can't lose that. The D4 will not remove that from our person right now. So, we are actually, or I feel like we're in a great position as a result of that. Or not a great position, but we're in a better position as a result of that, I should say. Burkano rune. Pop it right now. Carry this strength card with us. You never know, we might need it. Very thankful we got Incubus, because it's really allowing us to um, keep these enemies at bay here. And I'm, I know I'm taking a little bit more of a serious tone than is normal for my videos, but it's because, uh, it's because this is a pretty tough challenge to accomplish. And we've got some of the tools from the recipe, you know? It, we're, we're making Cheddar Bay Biscuits. We got the garlic powder, we got the cheese. We don't have the Bisquick yet, but we're hoping to get it. There's still a chance the Bisquick shows up. There's still a chance that the biz snap within me shows up, and then I just win the run as a result of my overbearing skill. We should go back for that key. There's really no good excuse not to. Except laziness, which I do, I, I count it as a good excuse, but some people may disagree. This floor is also big with, uh, for us for the deal with the devil chance. If it was a perfect world, I would love to get nine lives and become guppy before our... Uh, before we rerolled our entire run. Have we seen our item room? I can't remember. I don't think we take anything in there yet. Double Dingle. It shouldn't be that bad. Hopefully those aren't famous last words. Man, this Dingle, he charges too fast, man. Just kill one. One Dingle dies so that we may live. One. Ooh, close. One dingle dies so that another ding dong may live. We're the ding dong. The charge from this dingle is too fast, man. It scares the bejesus out of me. Now I'm just like relying on the little Steven shots to get him. Nice! Deal with the devil. Super bandage. Completely worthless. Unless there's a bandage transformation. So I was a little concerned about this exact thing happening. Krampus can kill us pretty quickly ruin our run he can also give us lump of coal which is temporarily helpful and then can be re-rolled later without feeling too bad about it it's head of Krampus we don't want to take it we've survived okay again if we could just make this guppy transformation happen in advance of our re-roll so we could stay as guppy and you may be saying well why do you care about nine lives if you just want to you know, if you don't think nine lives is that valuable for your run. Well, because it's valuable for right now. <laughs> I don't think it's valuable for beating the hush, specifically. I think it's extraordinarily valuable for getting to the hush. You know, it's the same principle as any lost run. You gotta live long enough to, you know, have the chance to make it work for you. That was extremely lucky. Okay, this could be good. Hermit. Awaz. Lovers. Hermit. Um... Hermit allows us to get out of boss rush, but so does Awaz. Awaz also allows us to possibly get out of the mom fight, which, to be honest with you, we'd probably quite like. I'm tempted to do that, but it scares me. So I think what I'll do is I'll Hermit out of that room, and hopefully not Hermit into a greed fight. The Serpent's Kiss. I don't know what this does. <laughs> Some of our shots have, like, poison. Uh, I've heard Cobalt and... Uh, Nick talking about this item, but I don't remember what they were talking about. And of course, I wish I could go back in time and, and remember what they were talking about now, but I can't. So this Awaz rune, I think, is valuable for stealing an item from Boss Rush. If we could steal Holy Mantle, that's beautiful. So we took Fate's Reward and got the hell out of there. I don't care about um, Mom's Purse. I care about this Joker card, which every bone in my body is telling me to use it immediately. But we may... That's just worthless, obviously. But we may get the opportunity... We're going to teleport away. <laughs> I got too scared. Um, I was going to say we may get the opportunity to just get this deal anyway. But let's do it. A Thame. Call to the Void. I don't know what this does. We do have to do this room now. But I think I, I'd set myself up in a bad position for this room, and then we just kind of... I wouldn't say we walked over it here, but we did okay. Um, again? 
Any items that I get is more chances to reroll in the future. And this has me excited. Because are we not stringing together uh, a pretty okay run and a run that definitely seems like we could reroll into something amazing in the future just through like sheer amount of items we have you know going for us right now that was you heard my voice quicken a little bit there i was a little scared got to do one more rune and then we come back we get our awas rune the awas rune again represents a free boss rush item Tears up, sweet. Now we enter what is truly the scariest part of this run, and that is, when do we make the decision to reroll? Because as of right now, I feel pretty good. I feel good. But there's battery charges. There's some battery charges. There's an invisible enemy. I hate that. Kill him right now, thank you. Um, so I'm tempted to reroll right now. But I hate the idea of it. It scares me, but I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, Nod Leaf. No Nod Leaf. Do we have Holy Mantle? Does not appear so. We have Cricket's Body. Um, this is not worth keeping, obviously. So, we do it again. Do we have Nod Leaf? No, we have uh, number two, which is just abysmal. <laughs> uh, this is this is very scary. Now what we do? is we make our way to the shop as quickly as possible and hope there was a battery charge in there. Because number two will kill me if not. Alright, that's bad. Uh, so I know people are going to be screaming, Why'd you reroll? Why'd you reroll? It had to be done. You know? The, the run has to be rerolled in order to get the tools necessary to beat Hush. We might as well go for those rerolls early. We have to fear those bombs. No question about it. That's why I'm keeping moving. Even if I don't see anything on the ground, we're moving. So I'm trying to build up another D4 charge here. As good as our damage is, butt bombs makes this unplayable. Extended stat effect time. And I really do like our damage right here. But it's unplayable as a result of the, the butt bombs. Which ha also occasionally do awesome stuff for us. But I'm also noticing these butt bombs have uh, Bomberman. Which is even worse. <laughs> but, occasionally saving me as well. Oh man, one room away from another reroll. I, I saw that there was emergency contact there too. Okay, here's our reroll. We got the mind, we got Polyphemus. Do we have Nod Leaf? No. Do we have Holy Mantle? No, but we have Infestation 2, Steven, and good damage. Hmm, that's a tough one. Well, um... Okay, let's start with the obvious. We gotta go here at some point. I think this represents a pretty good opportunity to beat Mom. As long as we don't die against Ultra Greed. We're gonna have some spiders. We have a boss fight in advance of it. We have Mom's contact. We have money. We've got full health. We got Bumbo! But we, we can't do it with Bumbo unless we have, um... Unless we have more. We need more. Um... We need invincibility. Otherwise, you know, all the bumbos in the world can't save us. This is a danger, man. Gotta kill one. One has to die. We can kill two even better. Fear shot is fine. I think we have to try to kill mom instead of going for what would probably seem obvious, and that's just getting the fuck out of here with the AWAS room. It has to be a special run. That was so dangerous. We made it though. We gotta deal with the devil. We'll take this because we have to go to the dark room if possible as well. Obviously we've already been to our deal with the devil. Now we can take any item in here for free. It is worth taking something. We got Nod Leaf. You use the Awaz rune. You pick up Nod Leaf. You get the fuck out of town. And now we have a winnable lost run. And I mean that sincerely. Um, the way that we do this, walk into a room, stand still. We have Infestation 2 for some passive, like, spider generation. We got decent damage, you know, Polyphemus. We got the mind, we got the negative. This is still going to be difficult. This is not going to be easy, but it is doable. And vindicating. The fact that, 
Oh, oh my god, Bumbo is going to be so useful for us. Just stand completely still. At this point, we will take no chances. The rest of this run could take two hours. Where did that bomb come from, by the way? That's that's a spooky part of this that I'm not a huge fan of. The uh, Oh my god, we got sissy long legs too. Why am I so excited about these? Because we have abilities to um, hurt our enemies without having to be there ourselves to shoot. Mom's knife from the transformation. You know, the spiders regenerating randomly. And also the spiders that sissy long legs generates. And also the coins from Bumbo. Which is why I'm like, Bumbo, Bumbo, get the coin, man. Yeah, transform! Stand still, stand still. We've transformed. Okay, now we're hoping for just beautiful deals with the devil. Skolex may take a while, but he will die eventually. This is the hook of this run. Prepare yourself for a little bit of annoyance here, but this is a big moment for us. We could possibly do Dark Room and Hush. I'm not saying that these are the most likely outcomes, by the way. As much as I would love to, um... To get everything done here, or to get anything done here as the Lost, I still think that the odds are we will probably die. But we have the tools necessary to win. And we've proven you can do it relatively easily. Um, that was weird. Come on, spider. Come on, spider. Oh, the spider's moving the wrong direction! Come on, come on. You gotta, oh, you gotta. Prepare for a lot of this, by the way. We could probably kill one of these guys ourselves easily. Why risk it? Beautiful. Pajamas. Does nothing for us. But we've survived another floor. Um, the mom's heart fight may take a while as well. But are we going to make it in under half an hour? Yes. <laughs> yes, we will. Stand still. Kill a couple of enemies. That's all I ask. Then we can come out, you know, on our own. Remember, our damage is great as well. And as much as I think we could probably get through this without getting hit, why risk it? I would like to generate as many spiders as possible, though. You only generate spiders when you kill them with your tears. I'm also wary of me having Stompy and possibly stomping on a, uh, a rock that explodes and hurts us. Or stepping on a red poop, for that matter. Good, good. One more. Done. Bumbo wants coins. Bumbo needs coins. Let's do one more room and then come down before we go to our curse room. This room is like ten times easier. I love it. I don't care if we lose too many spiders. As long as it doesn't take us 14 minutes to beat Mom's heart. Which it could. But it probably won't. Um, then I'm feeling okay. Great, great. Yeah, now the spider army has begun. The engine's firing. Bumbo, I present to you a coin. Be yours to hold it high. If ye lose faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies blow in Bumbo's fields. I'm not making a mockery of the First World War. I'm just honoring my idol, John McCray. Stand still. Might take a little while. That's okay. Thank you, Spider. We can also do that. Hmm, this time we can actually open this. Not that interested. Stand still. <gasps> do not stand still. That's okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Making our way. Towards the mom's heart fight. Just don't even shoot. Just let one spider do the job. I'm firing in like the occasional shot, but I'm not risking much. When an angel gets close, we get further away and stand still immediately. Okay, good bombs. Good bombs. Most scary thing here, definitely the red poop. Generate some spiders to help you out on the mom's heart fight. And get ready, because it looks like the hush dream is going to happen. Stand still. This is spider territory. All we hope for now is uh, attack fly possibly being in the right position to hit mom. I think when I fought mom's heart, I actually didn't... Um, 
I didn't fight Mom's heart. No way, I must have. I must, maybe I used a Chaos card or something? I can't remember. I, didn't, I don't remember the fight being hard. Come on, spiders. Sissy Long Leg, spit one out right there. Oh! Mom killed it. Okay, Attack Fly. Mm, it's hitting! Attack Fly is hitting. That's all that matters. We can now stand still. We know our spiders are going to take care of this. We know that Mom's tears are also going to hit enemies. And we know that we might even be able to devil after this. It would be awesome to get Mom's knife. So it actually points out in front of us in two different directions. When I did this on Kate's stream, I had uh, Mom's knife and Brimstone. Or maybe just Brimstone. But it was enough that I was safe, relatively speaking, when it came to... Um, when it came to uh, having to hit enemies from across the map. We don't have as much of that going on right now, which is uh, is possibly bad for us, but it doesn't make it impossible, it just makes it tougher. Just spit out some more spiders, dog. I, I'm not throwing myself at risk here. I'll just wait for Sissy Longlegs to spit out a spider. One more of them will kill you. They pushed us just far enough away for Attack Fly not to work. So what's our strategy on the hush? We gotta get through the first couple of phases without getting hit. And then we just wait for it to locomote towards us. Which is occasionally going to involve um, killing some of the nubs that spawn. In order to facilitate it moving in our general direction. Sissy Longlegs, the MVP we've needed our whole life. Whole lives. Whole lives. Sack Dagger. Actually a really nice pickup here. Just another means of doing passive damage. So what we hope for first is no curses. That is really bad. <laughs> I, I can't take this because it could be Bob's brain. Okay, that right. Those are Bumbo's coins. I'm thinking down. Well, no. I'm thinking we go to our shop first because maybe it's Black Candle. That's Small Rock, obviously, which is decent for us. Great normally, just decent now because we don't need anything, really. Mom's coin purse. Car battery. Double charge. Interesting. Balls of steel. Not necessary. Luck down. Obviously not necessary. Temperance, not necessary. Bumbo, you can take these coins. Headless baby, acceptable because the creep actually will help us. Okay, Bumbo, more coins, man. Go ahead. I took it, it was able. Let's go down. The halo, fine by me. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Reacquaint ourselves with what our shots look like. Um, we have to kill the first phase. The first phase should not be that difficult. We fought it 500 times. Stand still. Whenever things get even a little bit dicey, stand still. Because look at what Bumbo's doing for you here. He's even spitting out bombs, apparently. And if we just stand still here, it's possible that Bumbo might do enough damage and to the right parts of the enemy to actually win this for us. Yo, Bumbo's in there chewing it up. This is great. All we do is stand still. Bumbo may have to kill some nubs. I love that we have Sissy Longlegs walking around, though. Depositing spiders across the battlefield where they'll be able to kill nubs later if necessary. So we start by just waiting for, basically, the, the second phase to begin. Where the hush starts moving over to us. If the hush moves over to us and stays there for longer than, like, 45 seconds, we will win. Sack Dagger, Mom's Knife, Attack Fly, uh, you know, the Headless Baby... This is much better than the run that I actually had uh, on Kate's stream because Bumbo is going to be able to track Hush and do so much damage. At this point, why would I move? The only thing that made me move when I fought uh, Hush on Kate's stream was the fact that sometimes Hush traps itself in the nubs. And this creates a very difficult situation. Um, because you have to kill the nubs in order to get through, but you have to dodge through absolute horse shit in order to be able to kill the nubs. So that's why I'm hoping Bumbo and our army of spiders help us out here. And every time Hush summons enemies, this is glorious for us because, um, you know, each one of those represents potentially a spider that we can create with Infestation 2. So Bumbo, good job, man. You just keep tracking that enemy. We're going to use Sack Dagger. We're going to use our Attack Fly. All of these guys are going to die. The ones that die and don't get killed by a spider in dying are going to give us, um, are going to give us a spider of our own. So we just wait as far as I'm concerned, and, and Bumbo, as long as Bumbo keeps tracking Hush, I don't care if we can't see what's happening on the screen right now. Continuum Tears represent us never moving again. As long as Bumbo can keep track here, we're never going to move again. And Hush should just die. I, you can see the HP is still going down there. Man, this fight actually took like, um, about an hour just to beat Hush on Kate's stream. Because we, we had Sack Dagger, 
and the mom transformation. And that was basically it. Bumbo, you have cemented your position as the best item in the game. <laughs> Forever. Never let anybody tell you otherwise. I have taken my hands completely off of the keyboard here. I almost touched my controller. I don't know if that would have done anything, but... We'll stand still. Even though the hush hasn't come directly over to us, uh, it's, it's fine, man. Bumbo, just stay still. Don't ever deviate from your current position. Stay on him. And the hush, if you could just locomote directly over to us, that would be the, just the greatest. Oh, he's coming. Oh, it's perfect. We got Mom's Knife. We got uh, the Revenge Fly. We got Bumbo. And we got Sack Dagger. We got Headless Baby. All working in concert with one another to guarantee us knocking out one of the most bullshit achievements in the game. So glad I chose to do a Lost Run right now. Don't touch the controller. You just need him to pop up one more time. Even if he doesn't, the spiders will kill nubs. This is going to be our win right here. Hush is dead. We've done it. Sworn Protector has appeared in the basement. And it wasn't even that bad. Now we go down to Shoal. Let's try to make the dark room happen because that is like, it's a real achievement. <laughs> like beating the dark room still isn't easy. Uh, as as the lost, but now it. I mean, obviously, it seems like it should be child's play. But on the run with Kate's, where I did beat, um, where I did beat Hush, I uh, unfortunately lost it on the cathedral. So, you know, anything can happen. Really worried about enemies right off the bat that explode on us. A bomb fly was actually what killed me on the the run with Kate. Um, but. Uh, we have a huge help here as long as we just stand mostly still when we enter a room. Don't even give them a chance. Just immediately take your hands off the keyboard when you enter. No greed? I don't really... What do I care if we fight greed at this point, I guess? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Well, that's a load off my shoulders because that is the hardest part, I think. Uh, Ultra Greed might be harder as the Lost, but I mean, like, of the Lost achievements on this run, that was definitely the big one. So that's taken care of. We'll just stand still here. You know what? This gives me like a really newfound appreciation for how hard the lost win with Kate was. Because I had to kill those nubs myself. L the hush would trap itself in between like eight of its own nubs. And I would have to dodge through the bullets. Which you didn't even see how bullet hell you can get. You have seen it in the past, I'm sure. But man, it was a fucking nightmare. But uh, but we made it happen. You can go watch that on her channel. YouTube.com slash ProBoxStudio if you want to see that one happen. I would recommend it if you have time and you're interested in seeing a really grindy lost win. Uh, against Hush, because that was... This made it look like it was fucking like a kid's birthday party, you know? He'd pin the tail on the pinata. But this one was, uh... This one was a just child's play in comparison to the one that we had to do earlier. By the way, if you're wondering, is the rest of the run going to be this boring? We should be so lucky. Don't fuck with it, man. I can't tell you how vindicated I am that my strategy of re-roll a great run until it becomes the only kind of run that matters actually worked for us. I, I really can't believe that my bullshit strategy has worked out here. We still have a chance to fight Mega Satan. The odds are not good, but it is there is the potential for it. Again, in standing still here, I'm pretty sure we can't be killed. The feet should take damage when they hit us. For various reasons, Bumbo can kill Satan all by himself. We got spiders. We got every. This is your ideal lost run right here. At least if you're gonna play specifically to get those achievements on lost. That wasn't really very good. I don't think the lamb is gonna be challenging either. Getting to the lamb, maybe, because some rooms might immediately have a chance to hurt us when we walk in, which would that'd be real shitty. But um, everything else, nothing to worry about, man. There's a. Uh, there's Satan killed. Okay, this is even fast. <laughs> We're at the dark room at, at 27 minutes. I don't even want to open these because I worry that they could be bombs. As Guppy's paw. That's like our second Guppy item. Oh man, we could actually make the dream come true. That might be our third Guppy. No, it, it would say Guppy if we got our third Guppy item. Cursed Eye. Nah, dog. D oh my god, we're going to become Guppy. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. It's it's what the doctor ordered. A speed upgrade you shouldn't have. I don't know if becoming Guppy even means anything for us here, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Come on. Come on, spider bros. 
Silkworm broke. Oh, God! Never a doubt in my mind. I didn't see that enemy. But we're still alive. Oh, I bet you guys really got scared by my fake scream there. Oh, that's, uh... I'm obviously a big man who has never been startled by anything in his life. So, I, I'm just spooking you. If you got spooked by me getting fake spooked, you are you got spooked, man. I have never... Fear doesn't exist in my lexicon. Let's open this up. That's not Dad's key. We just wait. I guess we'll wait for spiders, Bumbo, or their chains to break and them to walk over here and accidentally kill themselves. No keys. What a huge disappointment. Run's totally busted now. I can't believe that we've managed to make this happen. I am... I'm thrilled. And you know what? If we can make it happen on a, on a hard mode run, we can make it happen in greed mode. We're not so different, you and I. Uh, stand still. Perfect. Only a few more rooms to go, baby boy. Okay. Just get some shots in. We... Oh, just stay back. Curse of Darkness is freaking me the fuck out. We're not done. We're not done yet. We're now done. Cursed Eye again? Stand still. These guys can shoot quickly, or move quickly at least. Good. One more room, and then Eternal Greatness. Maybe overstating it a little bit, but... What a beautiful half hour long run. Obviously the video is a little longer. Just a, just a beautiful half hour long run. Let's come back. We're gonna open this golden chest. There's a chance it's Mega Satan, man. I almost picked that up. Not that it would have mattered. I mean, we can't teleport anyway, so. We're gonna, we can't get hit anyway. Unicorn horn. Why not, right? I don't think I'm even gonna use it, though. Because <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Um, I think it's better for us not to use it. Even if it would give us some extra invincibility so we can get up close. Greatest day of my life. Awaz? 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 Dagaz? Now we can see at least. Um, Unicorn Horn has lasted forever there. Perthrow. Let's come back and Perthrow Cursed Eye. We get some spiders. That's okay. Might as well. Uh, okay, now no more dilly dallying. Let's finish this run. What an exquisite day to be alive. Okay, come in here. Stand still. Let the lamb come to you. Oh, man. Okay, oh, please come closer, my dear. All the better to kill you with. Mm. The dream is alive. I thought that we died by walking into his corpse and it scared the shit out of me. Oh my lord. Well, I didn't expect that to happen. Greed mode, Mega Satan still to come. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.